So hi there! It's a great and beautiful day. In this video, we are going to answer scenario number one in the exercises before this video. This exercise is asking you to um, see or to compute the price ceiling and price floor of the particular government intervention given the particular quantity demand and quantity supply function. So in this video, I'm going only to answer scenario one because it will be the same process in scenario two. So for scenario one, it is it tells here that suppose the demand and supply functions are described by the following equation. We have QD equals 10 minus P and QS equals 2 plus P, where P is price in peso, QD, QD is the quantity demanded in millions of bushels per year, and QS is the quantity supplied in millions of bushels per year. So we are asked to solve the equilibrium price and quantity of wheat and what would happen if the government will set a particular price at 7 pesos. It asks us to determine whether it will create a surplus or shortage or shortage or and how much is the dead weight loss and is the 7 pesos considered to be a price ceiling and price floor. So Scenario number one is just the same process as we had in the first video solving the quantity demand and the quantity supply, equilibrium price, and equilibrium quantity. So in the as we solved it, we know that the price floor is that the price floor or the price equilibrium or the price star is four pesos. And the quantity star is 6 units. Okay? So we have that already in mind. So the second question here is what will happen if government sets the price at 7 pesos on wheat? So for easy reference, I already um, wrote here the quantity demand and quantity supply. Now again, it's very important for us to understand that the government sets the price. Okay, so technically we will no longer need to compute the equilibrium price. Okay, because the government sets the price. Okay, so in that case, okay, in that case, what we're going to do is just um, substitute this 7 pesos to the piece that we have. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Let's just do it like this. So QD is 10, supposed to be, it should, supposed to be P, but because the P is 7 pesos as set by government, we'll just put there 7. Okay, and that is 3 units. Okay. And QS, it's 2 plus 7 because 7 is the set price by the government. That will be 9 units. Okay? So, therefore, we can say that given that QD is less than QS, so we can say that QD Okay, is less than is less than QS. We can say that we are experiencing surplus, and surplus is only applicable for price floor. Okay, to illustrate this, let's try to use again our ruler. So let me just fix this. Okay, and then let's just put the x-axis. Okay, it's very important for you to put the labels wherein the x-axis will be your quantity and your y-axis will be your price. So let's assume that this downward sloping, the downward sloping is what we know the demand curve. Let's just put it demand. And the 
upward sloping, which is the yellow one, we know it is the supply. Okay? So, without any government intervention, we know that the price, as we have computed it already, as we have computed, the price is at 4 pesos. Okay? And the equilibrium quantity, or the quantity star, is actually 6 units. Okay? Perhaps what the government said that the government looked at the quantity supply and demand wherein they found out that the price is actually very low. So they said that they are planning to set the price at 7 pesos. So the government is the one who sets the price. Okay? So let's just say that the government sets the price here. So from 4, the price now is 7 pesos. This is your price floor. The reason why it is up, because again, we know that all points leads to the equilibrium. Okay? So, the result for that, if we are going to analyze it further, the result for that is at this point, this is your quantity demand. And at this point, this is your quantity supply. Let me just put it there. Therefore, analyzing it, we know that quantity demand is less than quantity supply. Ergo, you have your surplus. Okay? So, this is the same process as you work on scenario number two. Um, you can recheck if that's correct. You can, st I think you can still um, submit the revision if you think that you had a little bit of a problem and if you had a different question to mine, okay? Uh, answer to my answer. So, just a, a quick note, uh, notice that the triangle here, this triangle, okay, is what we call the deadweight loss, okay? Or DWL. And we only compute the deadweight loss in terms of trying to compute the area of that particular triangle, which we will no longer do because I think it's no longer necessary. Okay? So, um, again, we cannot also say whether the deadweight loss is very big or whether it's quite small given that all um, figures here are all um, estimates. Okay? So that's the video for today. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to message message me. And if you have any more um, clarifications as well, message me. And after this, you are given a activity where you are going to solve the equilibrium price and the effect of price floor and price ceiling on a particular commodity that we often use now. This. Um, coronavirus um, event. So I am so I am hoping that you understand the lesson and see you in the next video.